Do you remember that very first time in life when the universe knocked on the door of your soul and you slowly opened up that door and as you opened it up, it suddenly felt like an explosion of life happened inside of you. Every bit of your being and fiber was filled with this childlike enthusiasm and, and excitement. Every bit of your thought was consumed with this activity. You fell asleep at night thinking about this experience. You woke up in the morning with this experience. You couldn't imagine life without this new activity and experience. For me, that happened when I was three or four years old on a family camp out at Christopher Creek. My dad and I had gone down to the creek to go fishing. We sat at the edge of the creek. I could see the fish in the pool. And we sat there for hours and hours waiting for a fish to bite. Eventually, my dad had to go up and help my mom cook dinner for the rest of the family. I stayed and fished. And eventually, one of those fish bit on the end of my line. And in that moment, wham, my life changed forever. I reeled that fish up. He was hanging off the end of my bent pole about a foot. I ran through the campground as excited as I've ever been. I got one, I got one, I got one. I got to camp, my dad took that fish off the hook. Hey Chris, that's great. We've got dinner ready, sit down and eat with us. I gotta go back and catch more fish. I ran back to the creek. They brought dinner down to me and I ate dinner at that fishing hole on Christopher Creek. Eventually it started to get dark. My mom came down, hey Chris, come on up to camp, we're roasting marshmallows. No, mom, I got to catch more fish. Chris, you can't stay down here. It's dark. There's bears. There's coyotes. There's rattlesnakes. There's bats. They're, they're going to they're gonna eat you. They're going to get you. Mom, I don't care. I got to catch more fish. Nothing else mattered to that three or four-year-old little boy other than catching more fish. I fell asleep at the edge of the creek that night. I remember my dad coming down, picking me up, and carrying me back to camp. I have no idea as a four-year-old what happened to me that day. But as I look back on a 47-year fishing career, most of that spent fly fishing, I've come to realize it's not those fish that I'm after. It's everything else that comes along with fly fishing for me. It's the experience of being connected for a lifetime with my dad, being connected to my son, our daughter, being connected to close friends, nieces, nephews, growing relationships. It's the experience of traveling the globe and getting to experience pristine nature, getting to experience the beautiful sunsets that God has to offer. It's not the fish that I'm after. I'm sharing all this with you because my hopes is to inspire you to pick up a fly rod and go experience fly fishing for yourself. I'm gonna put some videos together, hopefully to demystify the sport of fly fishing, make it simple. I also want to take you on some expeditions that I'm going to go on, but for the next few minutes, I want to take you along my lifetime journey and some of the places I've gone, and I want to share those with you. So come on, have a look. There's that three or four year old little boy. The explosion of life is about to happen inside of him, sitting right there on Christopher Creek in Arizona. And the big daddy responsible for all of it, here he is holding a nice big rainbow from Silver Creek. A few years ago, he and I took a road trip for a few weeks. We drove through Utah, Wyoming, into Montana, fished the Green River, fished the North Platte, the Gray Reef section, the Miracle Mile section, caught some beautiful fish, had a great time, saw some beautiful country, and, and spent a couple weeks together. We got up into Billings, Montana. We hooked up with my daughter. She was staying there for a week. We got her in on the action. There she is with a beautiful smile and a beautiful brown trout from the Bighorn River. This was on the way home. A uh, big, fat, healthy rainbow trout. You gotta love that. We stepped out of the car in Wyoming, and this is the scenery we saw. What an amazing picture of a rainbow. One of the greatest joys of my life was passing this pastime on to the next generation. Here's our son, Connor, his first fishing trip down to Canyon Creek. A few years before that, I had my first nephew, John, Johnny Rocket Peruch out. You can see now he realizes he's got a fish on the line, and his face is lit up just like any five-year-old boy would be. Real proud little five-year-old and a real proud uncle taking pictures of him. 
Beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Here's another nephew of mine I've gotten into the action. This is on the Little Colorado in Arizona. Let's go on up to Alaska. This fish got me onto the Wall of Fame. Had a wonderful trip up there, connected with some really good friends, caught some amazing fish, and we got to fish with the bears up there. The coastal brown bears, bigger than a grizzly bear. They're eating the salmon. They don't bother us too much, thank goodness. And man, did we have a good time. A lot of laughs. Our, all of our bellies ached at the end of that trip. Fly fishing has taken me into Iceland, chasing sea run browns in Iceland. Man, it was pretty. The fish were pretty. And uh, here's, a, here's a nice rainbow trout that I caught in Slovenia on the Sava Bohinka. Beautiful, beautiful waters over there in those rivers. Crystal clear. A lot of places that even looks like you're at the Caribbean. Got the pleasure there of catching an Adriatic grayling. The only place in the world they exist is in Slovenia. I've done quite a bit of backpacking in the Grand Canyon, and this is Bright Angel Creek down in the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Caught a lot of fish there, and now on to Lee's Ferry, one of my favorite places in the world to be. These pictures were taken by our daughter Grace. She was sitting in the boat on a father-daughter trip we had and happened to catch some beautiful pictures. And there's that beauty of a daughter that we've got. Gotta love that. There's the father-daughter trip, the famous dam photo. Everybody's got to have a dam photo. Lee's Ferry offers some of the most amazing scenery in all the world. And this is another photo that our daughter Grace took. And just for good measure, another dam photo. Got it. Can't get enough of those dam photos at Lee's Ferry. Spent a few years fishing up at Pyramid Lake up in Nevada, outside of Reno. Beautiful scenery there, beautiful sunsets come in there. And man alive, you catch those world famous giant Lahatna cutthroats. Fun to have on the end of the line. And in the meantime, the scenery is not too bad. The cloud formations, the sunrises, the sunsets, absolutely spectacular. Folks, this is a great way to spend time. It's a great way to connect with nature. It's a great way to connect with family, friends. And again, it's going to take you to some of the most beautiful sunsets that you've ever seen in all your life. This is on the world-famous San Juan River. Didn't know a friend of mine was taking photos of me right here. And man alive, did they come out. Just spectacular. And here we are just above the Soaring Eagle Lodge on the world-famous San Juan River. Spectacular place to fish and a spectacular place to stay at the Soaring Eagle Lodge. And the finale for the slideshow is what I consider to be the greatest fly fishing photo I've ever seen taken. We got this totally by chance. We were up at Cable Hole at the San Juan River up near the top and just couldn't believe our luck in capturing this splash and Jump in photo action of this rainbow trout. Hey, thanks for spending about 10 minutes with me. I'm glad you were here. Hopefully you got inspired to pick up a fly rod, get outside and experience some fresh air and some pure bliss like I've experienced in my life. I'm gonna to put together some videos on demystifying what it is to fly fish. Make it simple. What do I need? How do I get started? I'm gonna break all that down for you. It's not complicated. I've got a few adventures I'm headed out on. Next week, I'm going into the Grand Canyon in a very remote location. I'm gonna bring a video cam camera. I'm gonna capture a lot of that. I'm gonna get that uploaded right away. Got a trip after that to the high elevation of Arizona. Gonna capture some video from that. So I appreciate you being here. We'll see you next week.